Hey everybody. Uh, today I am going to show you all a little experiment that you can do at home. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You only need a couple of things. Um, so let's get started. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show how if you have a large body of water that when you have cold water and hot water, the hot water will rise to the top and the cold water will stay on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the ingredients. All right, everybody, before we get started, I want to say first things first is safety. Only thing that would probably happen if you hurt yourself is touching the hot water when it comes out of the microwave. So be very careful if you're doing that by yourself. Personally, I suggest that you go ahead and get your parent and help you out with that step. That way, you know, accidents can happen, but we can prevent that. You can have your parents do it for you. So go ahead and do that for me and then we'll get started. All right, for this experiment, what you're gonna need is you are going to need some red, well, you could really use any food dye of your choice. I just chose red and blue because, you know, red represents the hot and the blue represents the cold. And for our, our vessels to show how the water will leak into this giant container right here, I chose two, two baby food jars and just cut two holes in the top of it. And we'll fill those with water. And so for a big container, I just took a refrigerator drawer out and that'll be perfect for what we need. Okay, so we're filling up our container with water. If you have a large container like I do, there's really no reason to fill it up all the way. You could probably fill it up about, oh, I wouldn't even say halfway. We could say maybe like right about to here, just enough to where you can see it in the front and really see what we're trying to get into. So for our first step, we're gonna take a cup of just normal, normal, you know, tap water. And then I have a cup full of ice right in here. So you just wanna take a cup of water and pour it on into the cup of ice. Go ahead and let that cup of ice sit for about two to three minutes. Let the water get nice and cold. You can always test it, put your finger in there and you'll see the ice melting. So then you'll know when it's time to put it into the baby food jar. So for our next step, we're gonna to wanna to separate the ice water, the ice from the water, basically. So you know, you can put your finger here and then go ahead and just pour a little bit in there. It doesn't have to be all of it, just enough to fill up that baby food jar. So before you forget, go ahead and add your food dye that you're gonna to use to show what one's hot and which one's cold. So I'm gonna use blue to show cold. We're gonna add a couple of drops into there. And we can take the spoon and just stir it around a little bit. Put the cap on there and we're good to go. So for our next step, we're gonna take more sink water, fill up a cup, just, you don't need too much, you know, remember just enough to put it in that baby jar. But we're gonna go put this in the microwave for two minutes. All right, go ahead and put your cup of water in the microwave. Be careful with this step. This cup will get kind of hot after two minutes of the microwave. So go ahead and ask your parents for help if you need it. So you don't hurt yourself. Set it for two minutes. We'll see you in two minutes. All right, now that our hot water is done, be real careful. Take it out of the microwave. And we'll go bring it back to our, our laboratory table. Okay, so what we're gonna do is be very careful with our warm water and we're gonna put it into the baby jar. All right, that should do it. Now we're gonna add our dye. I'm using red, you know, again, to show that the red dye is the hot water. I'm going to add a couple drops, stir it with our spoon. Add our lid and our warm water's ready. All right guys, now that we have our water ready to go, our hot water and our cold water, it's time to do our experiment. So like I said, the hot water should rise at the top and the cold water should stay on the bottom. So we're gonna submerge it and find out. So you can tell by the red that's seeping out, you can see the little red bits going right up to the top. And if you look at the blue water, 
got our cold water, which is staying to the bottom. All right, so we're gonna take the cap off of our hot water. Dump it out and watch all the red flow to the top. Now with our cold water, our blue is gonna stay at the bottom. All right guys, so there you have it. Here's our little experiment to show how heat rises and cold falls.